Okay, we have derived the expression for the electromagnetic waves in plasma in the absence of magnetic field that happens to be something like that. Now we are interested in uh, finding out the dispersion relation for the electromagnetic waves in plasma in the presence of the magnetic field. So there are two types of, uh, uh, there are two cases that uh, we can consider. First of all, the electromagnetic waves passing through plasma perpendicular to applied magnetic fields. And similarly, we can talk about electromagnetic waves that are propagating in plasma parallel to the applied magnetic field. So first we are going to consider electromagnetic waves perpendicular to each other. There again uh, two cases, as we know for electromagnetic waves, K is perpendicular to E1, but this E1 can be parallel to B0 and perpendicular to B0. First, I am going to consider in this case when E1, the perturbed electric field, is parallel to the applied magnetic field or the ambient magnetic field of the system. And then we are going to consider. Uh, second case where E1 is perpendicular. So let's uh, we call uh, the waves that are propagating electromagnetic waves that are propagating perpendicular to B0 and they have the perturbed electric field component parallel to B0 are called ordinary waves. Why we call them ordinary waves? I will just explain it in a moment. Ordinary waves. Now here uh, the geometry that I am uh, considering with B naught is in the Z direction and thus as I have considering this case so my E1 will be also in the Z direction and as I am talking about the electromagnetic waves, so I can take either K in the X direction or in the Y direction. Here I am considering it as in the X direction. So the Maxwell's equation that are required for this kind of uh, case are the same as uh, before. That is del cross E1 minus partial B1 by partial T and del cross B1 partial E1 by partial T plus J1 by epsilon naught. So again, by following the same procedure that we have already talked about with the electromagnetic waves in plasma, we can solve this equation to find out this expression. So this is the uh, expression that we have already derived used in, in the previous lecture. Now we are going to find out this V E1 or V1 and it is from the equation of motion. So I will I will consider this equation from now on and then uh, I will substitute the value of V1 that I uh, that I'm going to find out from the equation of motion. The equation of motion is M partial V by partial T plus V dot del V equals N Q E plus V cross B.
So when we solve this equation of motion for electrons and linearize this equation, as I already told you, this term is going to vanish, and we are uh, considering uh, B naught. So this term also that will come here. But here, uh, as I am considering the electromagnetic waves in which the E1 is parallel to B naught, that is, I am looking for. E1 in the z direction. So the component of, okay, uh, let, me, let me write the, the linearized form of this equation <coughs> m plus v1 by function t equals minus n minus e e1 plus v1 cross b0. So this is the linearized form of this equation of motion. As we are looking for the electric field component in the z direction, so we will have only the z component here. And if if I try to find out the z component of this velocity, then what I will get will be m partial v z by partial t equals minus e. Z. As there is no z component of this term, as b naught is in the z direction, so what are we what we are getting here will be an x component or the y component because of this crossword. So there will be no component in the z direction. So if I solve this equation by again using uh, the perturbed quantity. Are oscillating as exponential rate of the exponential rate of the t. So what I am going to achieve here is minus iota omega m v1 equals minus e e1. And from here I can write v1 equals t by m omega e1. Now I'm going to substitute this equation, this term, back here in this equation. When we substitute this equation here, what we'll get? So here you can see, so we cancelled out, and this E1 is not equal to 0, we can write that, and we get the same expression as before in the absence of the magnetic field, that is Which is the same as I have written over here the, the case when electromagnetic waves are propagating in plasma without a magnetic field. So here we can see that if E1 is parallel to B0, then these waves will not be affected by the magnetic field, and that's why we call them ordinary waves. <coughs> 